If you're caring for a loved one at home, then you know the challenges. Today, Senator Bob Casey was in East Liberty proposing a funding solution to help those who are helping society's most vulnerable. Ross Gadotti has more. Senator Bob Casey addressing a number of issues having to do with home health care and the challenges. Essentially, it comes down to this. There is a generation now in America called the sandwich generation who have to deal with not only raising children, but taking care of elderly and sick parents. According to the federal and state government, there are 1.6 million caregivers in the state of Pennsylvania taking care of aging family members, special needs children and children in general. And officials say they're going to need a lot more. Pennsylvania is home to nearly 3.4 million older adults. To meet their needs, Pennsylvania will have to recruit 2,775,000 uh, new care workers in the next six years. Uh, and this turnover rate here is around 64%. The Vintage Center in East Liberty hosted today's special Senate committee on aging. Those taking care of both children and aging adults are part of what's called the sandwich generation. Children and parents often unable to afford home care, so they try to balance work and help their loved ones at the same time. Victoria Snyder deals with a special needs child, as well as an aging parent. I probably could be making more money. There's a lot of jobs that I could apply for, but that would mean that I would be bequeathed to them 24 hours a day. And I'm already struggling the gaps that I have, so I can't do that. What is the solution? Senator Casey says the child tax credit and the child dependent care tax credit need to be extended. Senate Republicans blocked the bill to discuss it, but Casey says. But we'll get another crack at this at least, if not later this year, we'll get a, another crack at it during the big tax debate in 2025. In East Liberty, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.